Hello everybody. I'm pretty excited tonight. I get to test online armors, online armor, firewall, plus, plus. Well, just online armor, plus, plus. And so this is their new suite, which is reworked with the Icarus antivirus engine, which has a pretty good detection rate. And their personal firewall. So I see that it's a 64.6 .6 megabyte installer, which is perfectly normal. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start installing this here. So, um, let me just find their trial license key. Um, I'm going to pause the video so I can do that because I forgot to copy it. Okay, uh, I got their key. This is just their trial key that they show on their site, um, for 30 days. So... This full suite is pretty expensive. It's $69, which is very expensive, actually. Um, but Online Arbor does some great products, and I'm hoping that it's totally worth it. They're $69, but I'm going to test it. I have uh, numerous links, over 10, that I'm going to test against. Uh, it's antivirus engine, it's hips engine, it's, um, it's, um, firewall if it has to kick in. Um, but usually if the actual firewall has to give you an alert, it means the malware is already on your system, so you hope not to get a firewall alert. That's my, that's what I think. Um, It's it's a really great product. I use their personal firewall on my uh, host machine with um, Avira, and it's a really great combo. Um, you can use the firewall to the hips to actually block Avira's AV notify, which is really nice too, uh, so you don't have to get that pop-up. I'm going to start this. Um, online armor, I believe it'll probably make me go through this same step. Um, it makes you go through these, um, safety wizards. So, you can either run their wizard, which will check the computer to see if it notices anything bad, or you can trust everything on the computer. If you know your computer is clean, definitely select this setting. I'm going to select this setting because I know this is a clean virtual machine. So it scans for known dangerous processes. Um, it scans uh, files. This should be, it depends on how many files you have in your computer, it scans more and it'll take longer. But I do not have very many files on this virtual machine so it will not take very long. Um, I don't think I f feel a need to pause the video quite yet. Now, this makes me wonder. Online Armor Trial expires in 937 days. All I can say is that's rather outrageous. I have no idea what that means. That means that I have, like, almost three years of protection out of this. So, I'm not sure what to think about that. That would be a pretty nice deal. If that was really how it went.
So, there are also a couple settings that you can configure here too. Um, but it's really nice and simple, their interface. They have a simple mode and an advanced mode, so you can go as deep as you want into configuration. And there are just a couple settings that I like to check off on the firewall, but for the most part, the default settings are just great. Um, Online Armor also makes a really great free product, which is uh, the firewall and the hips, um, which does a really great job. They just added keylogger protection into that, so that's actually a really great deal if you don't feel like buying any of their products. Of course, you don't get the same support, but if, as long as it's working all right, it's, it does pretty much the same job. It's missing some things like banking mode, um, slightly more limited uh, firewall options, but for the most part, it's pretty good. Online Armor also has a, a, a good feature that I like to check off on the browsers, which is, um, next, which is, uh, browsers and peer-to-peer -peer programs. Um, one that I like, the one I like is called Safe, Safe Run. So it basically loses all of its, um, administrative privileges and cannot access any um, files, modify any files that are valuable to the system because it is not, it does not have administrative privileges. So I'm going to restart the computer here and pause the video and I'll boot back up too after that. So I'm going to pause the video right here, and take a little break. So, I'm booting back up here, so what it's going to do, I believe, is it's, yeah, it's just going to go into learning mode for for a little bit. Um, about two minutes, and it's going to understand what the computer has running and is doing so that it can figure out how it should operate and perform depending on what happens or what requests to access the internet or to modify a file or whatever. So... I'm going to be continuing in part two because I've used up a lot of time and I'll be seeing everybody there. I'm going to stop the video now and in part two I'll just go through a few settings and I'll test the links which is the fun part which everybody likes to see including myself.